Tina Turner has given her approval to the actor who will portray the man who beat her and imprisoned her against her will for 20 years in the premiere of a new show about her life. The rock and roll goddess has agreed to the casting of Kobna Holbrook-Smith to play singer and music arranger Ike Turner who controlled Tina physically, mentally and legally for over two decades in the musical Tina which previews at the Aldwych Theatre from March 21. It might be painful having to watch him on stage, said Tina, 77, but I know he's being played by an actor and he can't hurt me. Sh told me when she read herself of Ike, she never spoke to or saw him again. He was out of my life forever, she said. Ike died in 2017 and worked closely with director Phyllida Lloyd, writer K. Tori Hall and producer Tolly Pellman, the three main architects of the musical based on Turner's turbulent years with her first husband and her years of freedom when she summoned the courage to walk out on Ike. It's Holbrook Smith's first major musical production, though he perfected his singing while at the Guildford School of Acting. I have sung and I do sing but early on I was really interested in straight plays and films and television, Holbrook Smith told me. He said that when projects come up I tell people I can sing but they never quite hear it. Though he did land a role in the Disney blockbuster Mary Poppins Returns early in his career he tried unsuccessfully for a role in The Lion King. But casting director Pippa Alien remembered him and asked him to meet about portraying Ike Holbrook. Smith didn't think for a minute that he would make it through the first audition, let alone be seen three times before being offered the part, with Tina's blessing. Holbrook Smith who has roles in the hit Paddington 2 and Justice League, said that when he was recalled twice by the powers that be at Tina he found that he desperately wanted the role. I realized I love the music, always had, and Tina Turner's this amazing icon. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be involved in a Said his approach to portraying Ike will be that there's more detail to these horrific broken souls. I've always played rather good guys, so it's nice to explore how a broken soul becomes that way. Meanwhile, he's studying the song list and the numbers he will perform with Adrian Warren, who plays Tina, and the songs he will sing solo. The actor is also shooting an indie movie in Wales called The Dark Outside for director William McGregor and producer Hilary Bevan Jones, Aisha Joando, Saikiwa and Tanisha Spring play the Ikats and Tina, as well as other roles. The Ikets were the backing vocalists for the Ike and Tina Turner review and also recorded discs in their own right. Madeline Apaya portrays Tina's mother Zelma and Jenny Fitzpatrick will play the alternate Tina Gerard McCarthy has been cast as marketing executive Erwin Bonk who later become most significant to Tina and Ryan O'Donnell portrays her astute manager Roger Davies. And Tom Goodwin plays producer Phil Spector executives at really useful theaters thought it a good idea to remove the six-man Palladium box office, reduce it to a two-man affair and hide it out of sight, not realizing what a box office is for. Those who gave the daft order might want to purchase multiple copies of everything you always wanted to know about going to the theater but were too slosh to ask. Dear. By the anonymous West End producer it's packed with info about, well, going to the theater and is full of inventive innuendo. It's published by Nick Hearn Books Amber Riley, who will stop the show for the last time tomorrow night with her heartbreaking take on the song and I'm telling you I'm not going when she plays the role of Effie in the musical Dream Jewels at the Savoy Theater. It's her final performance in the production, which opened last year. She won the Olivia Award for Best Performance in a Musical. I saw the show a bunch of times, though I haven't been over to the Savoy for a few months and I'll be heading to the stalls tomorrow for one last look at Amber 3 actresses, Moya Angela, Marisha Wallace and Karen Mav will share the Effie role from next week. Wallace and Mav have been alternating the part, the lead singer of the Supremes like the Dreams who's kicked out of the group when it's deemed that looks market better than singing talent. There was a lot of chatter about Dream Jewels going to Broadway, but director Casey Nicola has so many shows on the go, The Book of Mormon is one of his, that it may be years before he's available to put it on in New York for now. Though, it's time to say goodbye, as the dreams sing, to the wonderful Miss Riley and her fellow castmates who are leaving, too. 
Soap Teresa who is serving as Coriolanus in director Angus Jackson's riveting production that has transferred from Stratford to the Barbican Centre as part of the Royal Shakespeare Company's Rome season, which will include Julius Caesar, Antony and Cleopatra and Titus Andronicus. I went on Tuesday night and was transfixed by the goings-on in Rome, and events in the play will certainly remind you of stuff we see in the headlines on a daily basis from Whitehall to Washington. James Corrigan as Talus Ophidius makes a worthy foe. And I loved Hyde and Gwen's kick-ass Mama Volumnia and Paul Jessen's Meninius, a once powerful senator who doesn't realize his power has dissipated. Jackson has assembled a good ensemble and I particularly enjoyed seeing Martina Laird, Jackie Morrison, Charles Otkin and Ben Hall.